Well, happy Tuesday, East Texas. Again, today is a first alert weather day, and specifically as we head into the late evening hours, that's the time where you really need to be concerned for the potential of strong to severe thunderstorms making their way into your neighborhood. Outside now, again, lots of clouds across the north. Also notice a breeze showing up as well. 65 degrees outside now with a dew point of 59. So that south wind pumping in the moisture, those dew points continue to climb. And when you get dew points into the 60s, that allows for the development of thunderstorms. So we're going to continue to watch that for you. It feels like it's 65 out there as well. The numbers across the rest of the region, can you tell where the clouds are? Can you tell where the sunshine is? I think you can by taking a look at this map. Temperatures into the low to mid to a few upper 60s here across the areas along and north of I-20 where we have the clouds. If you're farther south in the deep east Texas, yeah, you're seeing those temperatures already climbing into the mid-70s, and I think that trend will continue to work its way north throughout the afternoon hours. Now, take a look at the winds, all sustained out of the south, anywhere between about 10 to 15 miles per hour on average, but we're seeing gusts at times uh, 20, 25 miles per hour, and I think that trend will continue throughout the afternoon. A lake wind advisory is in effect for several of our central counties here throughout the afternoon as well. Again, note the clouds across the north, note the sunshine across the south, so that's what we're going to continue to monitor here for you. You're seeing some green showing up on the map. That's just some light rain or sprinkles. A lot of that probably not hitting the ground yet. Here's why. There's our upper level system now making its way from the Texas Panhandle into portions of Kansas and Oklahoma, dragging with it a cold front and a dry line. Of course, we know from the spring setups, dry lines are where the storms kind of fire up. It separates the very dry air between the very moist air that we have pumping into the area now. And so while we're just seeing some clouds, we'll start to watch that dry line as we go into the afternoon and evening hours. So East Texas is pretty much ground zero for the potential of any severe weather as we progress throughout today, especially this evening here. And most of the area now under that slight risk, that's a level two out of five for the threat of seeing some severe thunderstorms making their way through the region. So let's time everything out for you. Where we go from now till this evening, and you can see the clouds thickening up throughout your lunchtime hours. Notice around four, five, six o'clock, we'll start to see again a couple of isolated pop-up showers and storms developing ahead of the front. This is not the main story or the main event here taking place. As we go into the evening hours, though, around nine, ten o'clock, notice showers and storms start to form a line across the far northwest. That will continue to organize around midnight, 2 a.m. It'll push its way from, let's say, Athens, Mount Pleasant, over towards uh, Terrell, down towards the Tyler, Longview, Jacksonville, Anderson County areas after around midnight or give or take an hour or two and then make its way down towards Deep East Texas from Nacogdoches over towards Lufkin all the Piney Woods from center down towards uh, St. Augustine and over towards Toledo Bend between uh, let's say 3 a.m. 5, 6 o'clock in the morning and then it all should be clearing out of here by Wednesday morning then we just clear the skies out and turn cooler. So again a closer inspection of the timing if you live from Sulphur Springs Terrell over towards uh, Van down towards uh, Palestine between about 9 p.m. midnight I think the storms make their way towards you around midnight or so here in the Tyler area. Longview, I think, between about midnight and 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. And then areas from Nacogdoches to Lufkin between about 2 to 3 a.m. And then for our far deep east Texas communities between about 3 and 6 a.m. What are we concerned about? The biggest threat? Damaging winds, 60 miles per hour or higher. Can't rule out an isolated tornado spinning up along that line, but I think the damaging winds will be the bigger story with this activity. Around an inch of rainfall on average, with some places receiving as much as two inches in some of those heavier storms. So be aware, it's a first alert weather day. Have a plan in place in case severe weather pays a visit to you. Overnight, while you're sleeping, make sure you're able to take care of the family. But other than that, we clear things out just in time for the holiday.